In this video, we'll solve a problem using the idea of equivalent annual cost. Before attempting this problem, I strongly recommend that you watch the accompanying video on equivalent annual cost where the concepts are introduced. You'll need those concepts uh, and you'll need to understand them very well in order to complete this problem. So at this point, I would encourage you to pause the video, read the problem, and when you're ready to see the solution, restart the video. So in this problem, we're presented with the scenario where a company is wanting, wanting to investigate uh, how often should they purchase a lawnmower um, in order to minimize the, their overall uh, annual cost of ownership. And we'll look at five different scenarios. We'll look at purchasing the lawnmower, owning it for one year, reselling it. We'll look at purchasing owning for two years, reselling, three years, four years, and five years. Um, and the problem also tells us what we can expect for repair costs if we own the lawnmower for any number of years between one and five. So if we read the problem carefully, we find out that the purchase price of this lawnmower is $600. So we're assuming we're going to purchase uh, the lawnmower new. We also will need to estimate what will the salvage value be of the lawnmower at different points in time. So if we sell it after one year, what will the salvage value be? If we sell it after three years, what will the salvage value be? And to estimate our salvage value, we're going to use the depreciation. And we're told that the lawnmower depreciates at a rate of 40%. And that's a yearly depreciation rate. And we're also given um, a value for interest of 5%. So this will be the value we use in our time value of money calculations. So I've already prepared a table that summarizes the annual repair costs. These are the repair costs we're told in the problem will occur in each of these years. So for instance, if we own the lawnmower for three years, so at some point over the course, over the, that third year, we will incur $200 in repair costs. And for simplicity's sake, we're going to assume that all of these cash flows occur at the end of the time period. So uh, these annual repair costs, plus the depreciation, the purchase price, and the interest rate give us everything we need in order to solve this um, equivalent annual cost problem. So the first thing I'd like to do is say that there's a lot of calculations involved in filling in this table. And we won't do the calculations for every, uh, every cell in the table. What I'd like to do is do the sample calculations under the scenario whereby we own the equipment for three years. So the first thing I'd like to calculate is, well, what's the salvage value? Um, so the salvage value at the end of year three, if I, if I write it like this, the salvage value at the end of year three, uh, if you recall back to uh, declining balance depreciation, I can say the purchase price times one minus D raised to the power of three will depreciate my $600 over three years. And if I put the numbers in there, I get 600 times one minus my 40% to the power of three. And if I work out what that is, I end up with $129.60. So I'm gonna put that in my table, 129.60. And if I did that calculation for all of these, any of these years, uh, I'll just write down what those are. If I, if I only own the lawnmower for one year and then sell it, I would sell it for a value of $360. If I own for two years, it would be $216. If I own it for four years, it would be 77, 76. And if I owned it for five years, it would be 46. 66. So you can imagine 
maybe you've even seen uh, five-year-old lawnmowers at a garage sale selling for $50. So this 40% depreciation sounds like a reasonable assumption for estimating our salvage value. The first thing I do in the calculation of equivalent annual costs is my to calculate the equivalent annual cost for the capital portion. So I'll write here sample calcs for three year replacement. So all of what I do here will really be based on this, three years. So, so my EAC, my equivalent annual cost for capital, if I own for three years, if you recall the formula for uh, capital uh, recover recovery is P minus S times A given P I N plus S times I. And I can go ahead and now that I've calculated my salvage value for three years of ownership, I can plug the numbers in simply 600 minus my 129.60 times the A given P factor for 5% and three years um, plus my 129.60 times my 5% or 0 0.05. Now if I work out what that is, I get $179.21. So my EAC capital, if I decide to own for three years, I can put in my table of $179.21. So just a quick recap, what is this number? This number is my purchase, 600 my salvage at 129, uh, 129.60 for n equal to 3 converted into an equivalent annual cost that looks like this. Right, so that is what this is. It's really the A that is equivalent to this P and this S. So that's the equivalent annual cost of owning for three years as it relates to the capital portion of this lawnmower investment. Now I also need to calculate the EAC for the repairs. And the EAC for the repairs is a little bit more complicated. Um, in fact, maybe I'll come over here and just draw it as a cash flow diagram. So my EAC for my repairs will look something like this, where if I look at a three-year time frame, if I own it for one year in the first year, I don't have any repair costs. My second year, I have a $100 repair cost. And my third year, I have a $200 repair cost. So what I'd like to do is convert this cash flow diagram into, again, an equivalent annual cost over three years. And the way that, that we, is probably best to do that is to take, the, take each of these values and bring them back to the present, and I would do that using a P given F factor for each of them. It would be different because it's a different number of years. It'll be two for the 100, and it'll be three for the 200. And once I have that value uh, for each of these, I add them together and then use an A given P factor to convert them back into an equivalent annual cost. So I can go ahead and write down what that is. So if I have my $100 cost here, repair cost at the end of year two, and I want to bring that back to the present, I'll use the uh, P given F for 
and two years. And I'm going to add the $200 repair cost times the P given F factor for 5% and three years. Now I've taken both of these back to the present, add them together, and then multiply the whole thing by the A given P factor for 5%. And I'm going to three equal payments over three years, so I need a three for that factor. And then if I, if I go ahead and plug the numbers in, I have 100 times you can go to the 5% interest table and get these numbers. And then my A given P factor is six. And if I work out what that is, I end up with $96.75. So my equivalent annual cost for the repair portion of this equipment, if I own it for three years, is $96.75. Well, now that I've converted my purchase price and salvage value into an equivalent annual cost over three years, and I've converted my repair costs that are 100 in year two and, th and 200 in year three, converted those to an equivalent annual cost. I add these two items together, and I get 275.96 as my total equivalent annual cost. Now, a fair bit of calculations involved in these numbers. I have to do it for each of these scenarios so where if I own for one year and then sell, own for two years, sell, own for four, own for five, and I would encourage you to attempt to calculate these numbers yourself, but I will go ahead and fill in the table. So all of these numbers come from this formula, simply using a different value of S based on the number of years we're using depreciation to estimate a salvage value. Okay, so, and you can see that number go down. It makes sense the longer I own the equipment, the less equivalent yearly cost there is based on my, related to just my purchase of the equipment. So we're spreading the purchase price out over a larger number of years, the equivalent cost should get lower as we come down uh, this table. Sort of in contrast to that, the repair costs could really do anything. Uh, we know that in, if, we, if we buy the equipment and only own it for one year, we'll have no repair costs, which is a nice thing about owning for one year. Um, if I own for two years, I only have this $100 at the end of two years, but I, I convert that to an equivalent annual cost over two years. It turns out to be forty-eight seventy-eight. You can see the effect of the five percent uh, interest. And if I calculate the same number for four years and five years, our equivalent annual cost of repairs, if we own for five years, goes up quite a lot. You can really see the effect of this big repair bill uh, in year five. So remember, this is an equivalent annual cost. It's being greatly affected by that, that fifth year of ownership where the lawnmower seems to break down all the time. So once we have all of these EACs for repair and all the EAC, cap EAC capitals, we add them up. So, at the end, what we try to do is say, well, what number of years does it make sense to own our lawnmower and then sell it and then buy a new one uh, based on the analysis of equivalent annual cost of ownership? 
And if we look at these numbers, we can see that this is the lowest number, 266. So what this analysis is telling us is that we should buy the lawnmower, own for two years, sell it, buy another one. And we should continue that cycle assuming that the cost is always $600 and the interest rate stays the same and our repair estimates stay the same. This becomes the answer to the problem. So purchase and own for two years. Um, you can see though, owning for one year is not too far off. Even owning for three years is also not too far off. Um, so if you think to some of the introduction of this course, where sometimes the analysis is not the only factor we use in making a decision. There may be other factors that could sway us to owning for one year or owning for three years, but under purely the engineering economic analysis, using equivalent annual cost, the cost is minimized for this lawnmower by uh, owning it over a period of two years.